Hey, what is up guys? I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to talk about iOS 16.5. This is my usual follow-up. The software has been out for a couple of days. I've been able to test the battery, the performance. I want to share some bugs and also important information for those of you who have not yet updated to iOS 16.5 that I think is important to note. So let's just dive right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I would like to talk about is some of your questions. iOS 16.5, how's the performance and how's the battery? So I've been using iOS 16.5 on the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I have to say these two devices in terms of battery performance have performed very, very well, even better than iOS 16.4 slightly. So that's definitely a good thing. In terms of battery, you don't have anything to worry about when it comes to iOS 16.5, at least on my experience over the past couple of days has been nothing but great and excellent battery performance especially on the newer devices now when it comes to bugs and also performance in terms of navigating the os i find that the software is perfect i haven't noticed any really hiccups on the lock screen no hiccups or issues launching applications or crashes or anything like that so it's been a very 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 good in terms of performance as well however when it comes to bugs there's one bug that you probably didn't know about and it's reportedly that Apple's very own Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter compatibility breaks with iOS 16.5. So if you like to shoot photos and import them using this adapter to your iPhone, keep in mind you may run into some issues with a bug that breaks compatibility, which means that Apple could soon be releasing a minor software update, maybe iOS 16.5.1, in order to address this issue. Again, if you like to import photos with Apple's very own Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter, then you may run into some some issues just keep that in mind but in regards to battery and performance navigating the OS launching applications using the operating system as you normally would then you're not going to run into any issues over the past couple of days has been working excellent for me on both of these devices now if you have an update to iOS 16.5 maybe this will entice you to update Apple has recently shared their vulnerability fixes on their security update page for iOS 16.5 and iPad OS 16.5 and I have to say there's 30 within iOS and iPadOS alone. So security fixes within iOS and iPadOS alone are 39 and 3 that were currently being exploited, which means that you may want to update sooner rather than later if you haven't updated to iOS 16.5. Now there's more than 39 if we combine macOS, watchOS, and tvOS, but iOS and iPadOS had the most. And that's kind of crazy to think. So if you care anything in regards to security and privacy in your data, then iOS 16.5 is definitely the reason you may want to update your iPhone. And these are just some of the things you might not know about the software a few days later. I wanted to share these details with you guys. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. Hope you guys enjoy this quick update and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.